G'day, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to another video. Um, this one is, I guess, a unique one. I've had a couple of people sort of ask me, sort of, Matron, what, what do I play? Like, I mean, with all the NFT games, am I still playing normal games and so forth? And I am. I, I mean, there's a couple of games that have come out on Steam that I've certainly been, uh, been playing on the side. Um, but besides the games on Steam, Splinterlands is a game that I found about a month ago that I really enjoy playing. Um, so what we what I'm doing is I'm creating the video on why I like it, what is uniquely different about this, and just a couple of sort of how I got started and, and tips and bits and sort of how to sort of set you forward. So if it's something you'd like to know, a little bit like uh, Splinterlands and find something new, stick around. <music> Hey, welcome back. All right, as you said, we're going to have a look at Splinterlands and why I look at uh, like certainly Splinterlands. Um, I guess what is Splinterlands? So Splinterlands is a card collection uh, auto battler. Um, now I'm probably not going to give this justice, and one of the reasons I actually like this is it's great to find an NFT game. And I also want to sort of say is you don't. It, it is an NFT game, but you can also play this game if you're not into NFTs. If you simply like card collection games and stuff, you can you can join the game, pay $10 as you would like a normal game off of Steam with your credit card, and just play the game. Play the game, earn some in-game currency, rent, buy some cards. Um, and then you know what? Who knows? Six months down the track, three months down the track, you may want to get in or you may get into NFTs and then you can sell and take this uh, cash or you can donate the cards and pay them forward or whatever. There's so many opportunities there. Or if you play Hearthstone or uh, Magic the Gathering or whatever, you may just leave the cards in the game forever like you do with other non-NFT games. So a couple of things there is it, it's an auto battler, it's about card ownership and actually owning those cards and collecting those cards and earning, earning money on those cards and I'll show you that uh, very, uh, very briefly. So as I said, it's not an in-depth video um, and it is about community and I'm loving the fact there are so many outlets to this game, so many links into this game that support the game. It reminds me of like the WoWs and the so forth. They're, there's web pages and there's forums and there's everything and the Discord is uh, um, so alive and the help desk associated with the Discord is is instant. I've gone in there with problems and people have certainly come through with answers as well. So it's it's nice to find a game again that has that positive vibe and that support mechanism and those forums and that as well. So let's jump into it, right? So. <laughs> As we said before, it is the fundamental part of it is the card collection. And we'll jump into the card collection and you have hundreds and hundreds of cards to collect over a number of elements. And those elements are fire, water, earth, life and death um, with a dragon and a neutral card element as well. Um, the cards also come in series. The game itself, I believe, is three plus years old. So it's not a new NFT game that people are getting in and getting hyped and then it's sort of going up and going down. The game's already been around for three years. So this ecosystem of support around the game um, has just been building over time. Um, and also the artwork and the, and the graphics one of the things that I really do like is the the owners and the the company itself actually has a town hall every week or every two weeks and you can see that in the discord and it certainly comes up as well is they do the town hall they also link the town hall on peak day and I'll sort of go through some of these these forums that are associated uh, with it as well um, and in the town hall the owner um, or the co-founder the um, the CTO, the production officer, um, all these people get up and they sort of give their sort of five, ten minute spiel um, and they talk about the game and where the game's going and what they've done over the last couple of weeks and what's coming up. Um, you know, they'll introduce new staff and I believe they've probably, you know, it's not a small company anymore. I think they've got close to sort of a hundred employees. 
Um, they talk about their card decks, what they, they're doing, the res, re, uh, reward systems, and it is really good. And then part of the town hall as well is it's sort of a bit of an ask me anything. They have a, uh, a tab in the, in the Discord. You can go in there with some specific questions if you want, and they will answer those questions. Um, so it is, yeah, no, it's really good. And that, and that just gives me a positive vibe on the game and certainly where it's happening and where it's heading just because of the enthusi enthusiasm of the owners and, and what's coming up with it. Um, the other part is you've always got a heap of uh, games or games that sort of have third party support, whether it's sort of third party markets or um, uh, forums and that as well. What I like about this game is they've incorporated these third party markets and other forums into the game. So when I go into the market here, I can buy directly from the game. No, no, no difference to it. I could come up here for sale and I could buy one of these cards. Um, not a good example, I said, but I could buy one of these cards for three cents and I could buy it directly from the game. If not, I could go to one of these third party markets. So they're not hiding the fact they're actually um, supporting them and interesting so we've got peak monsters here that is allowing you to buy these cards now why would I buy from peak monsters rather than buy from in-game because the peak monsters themselves has enhanced their enhanced their abilities um, to buy so for instance I could actually buy in bulk this isn't a feature that actually comes in um, in the actual in-game so if I want to buy 30 cards because I want to uh, merge these cards or blend these cards I can do that and quickly buy 30 cards the other feature they've got in here is bidding if I don't want to um, let's say buy these cards straight up um, at the given price I could actually put in a lower bid let's say 28 cents 27 cents and wait down here for someone to go so that's why you would potentially go through a third uh, third party market you know some of these other markets like monster market Monster Market actually gives you a rebate. So the more you buy through Monster Market, the more money you get back is a bit of a rebate um, through supporting them and purchasing them uh, as well. So there's certainly great features there. Um, other things that they have, as I talked about, is regards to the, um, the forums. Um, to go with the forums, I also want to talk about and jumping around a bit is the event. So you've got your battlers and you've got a daily quest. Um, I believe they're going to expand these quests so there's more to do than just one quest. Um, but you've got these community driven tournaments. And these tournaments, one deck, I don't even know how I calculate that. Um, I think one dark energy crystal, crystal, which is the DEC, dark energy crystal, is worth something like two cents maybe even one cent and you get dark energy crystals as a reward so when i'm winning battles at the moment in my current leg i'm winning three to five dark energy crystals per per win so that's 30 to 50 plus maybe a day depending how many battles i won so playing one to enter a tournament it's got 203 people in there at the moment um, is not bad winning wise yeah, yeah, there's some decent rewards there if you can get into the sort of the, the top 40 um, and give it a bit of a go. But what I like about it um, with these tournaments is they're community driven tournaments. So, you know, these are created by people to create a tournament, put some rewards in there and jump in. And I've jumped into some of these, maybe sort of, you know, a couple of dark energy crystals to get in and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I got 69 on the last one, so I just missed out. Um, I got pegged, but it's probably been my best tournament so far. Um, it's not about getting money or getting the, the credits uh, for me. It's also the, just the community-driven activities they've got. I can use the tournaments to learn because it doesn't push me up and down a leg. So I'm using the tournaments to sort of learn my, my battles and my fights, and then sort of the learnings I take I then put them into when I go for my league battles to, to sort of play those cards and to try them out. The other thing with these community driven um, battles in regards to this one, I'm giving this one guy a bit of a plug, Zill3, because I've enjoyed it. And he's also not only done it, he's also given it, done some giveaways. Um, 
by clicking on this you end up going to peak d and peak d is a forum um, which is associated and links into once again splinter lands he's running these he's got the awards he sort of puts a little bit of a forum up not only that is he's giving away free cards so if you do sort of jump in um, you know I like I'm enjoying being in these tournaments they're cheap they're only sort of like 20 dark energy crystals 25 dark energy crystals so it's sort of the money that I've got I don't have a lot of money to sort of throw it away at it but with it as well he's also giving away some random cards uh, to people as well which I think is a really nice uh, approach uh, and supportive but peak D itself is a forum and this is what I think is amazing is by you if you work with the forums, if you support the forums through, um, you know, liking his post, making comments, um, there I am, I was at 27, and, so, and he actually sort of commented and liked it. You also get reward tokens, and those tokens can be used to buy new cards um, or to rent cards, um, which is a, a great thing as well. So having this, this ecosystem of, of forums um, uh, markets and that it just to me strengthens this game on, on certainly what, what I like about it now with with the game itself as I said you can join into the game or you can start the game uh, you don't have to be into NFT so the only thing you require to jump into the game is to buy your initial spell book and that is ten dollars and so you you you, you buy that using your credit card or crypto if you've got crypto, but you can just use your credit card, buy the spell book, and that is enough to play. Now, what I will do is I will put uh, a referral link down below, um, and I'll also put the Discord channel down below, so anyone who is interested and actually joins the game through the referral can also jump into the Discord, and we can certainly help you out there as well. What I have been doing... Um, as you play the game and get into tournaments um, and you progress up leagues um, you you need a certain amount of power which is through ownership of cards so I've been helping people in my discord channel is I've been rent or giving you renting you um, a thousand power worth of cards to help you progress in the early stages so if you're just starting out and that goes with anyone that's new to my channel hit that referral link um, uh, join up the game jump into the discord tell me that you've joined up I'll be able to see you um, through my affiliate program like Mazugas and Tali and Labchimp there and uh, one other person who joined today um, and then I'm happy to delegate you over some cards to not only the cards will help you in some fights but the cards will also help you in progression up in the leagues as well. So th that information's down below. Feel free, it's a small little Discord channel, but super friendly and we're always willing to help. Um, I don't have a lot of money to throw out, but I'm happy to support people that support the channel. Um, so that would be great. Um, how does the battle work? You know what, I'm probably gonna do one live and I'm probably gonna get my, my ass kicked doing it, but let's give it a go. Um, for science so as he said by taking the cards that you own um, either own through rent um, or go through so you have two and a half minutes to actually select first of all you would select a element and that element would be through a summoner or a splinter so in this case here with melee I'm going to create the team you have rules so in this case here we've got a in a rage an ability and we can only use cards or monsters that have the melee attack and we've got 22 mana to spend so we're going to create a team I'm going to pick my fire summoner um, and then these are the cards that I've got to choose from I've got my fire cards and I've got some neutral cards so I'm just going to put a little team together using the cards as I said I'm not explaining what the cards are doing or um, any of the uh, I guess the the elements there and one reason for that ah, I missed it by one that's all right uh, one reason for that is there are so many youtubers and bloggers that are doing fantastic content um, I don't have my ears on so I may end 
up missing what do we got three uh, love to slow them down but that's not going to happen or oh, we can slow them down no we can't where's my toad Ah, he's not melee. All right, I've got that. I've worked it out. 35 seconds. And... There we go. All right, this might be a bit embarrassing, but we'll see how we go. Once you've got it, the battles are actually sort of set. So there's no rush. You, the rush only is to pick the, uh, the card game. In the leagues um, or the events, when you jump into an event, you might have seven or 15 battles. Those battles are automatically rolled for you. So you don't have to wait for the person to be online. You come in, you've got your 15 battles already linked to the 15 players you're playing against in your particular round. Um, so if you're in the time zone of Asia like I am and they're in the States, you pick your 15, unless they've picked their 15, you just wait, and then you can come back in a couple of hours and have a look at the results. All right, let's have a look at what we've got here. So, we've got the same, we've got the front line, um, and then we've got the back line starting from right to left, or in this case here, from left to right, and this is my last one. So, what you'll find is as they die, they will move, in this case here, I will move in this order, um, and it will depend on the cards as well. So. You click it, rumble, the fight's already been completed. So if I wanted to, I could just speed it and hit the uh, the skip to results. But it's, as I said, once you've got your synergies and your setup, it is an auto battler. Um, so we'll see how we go here. We may be in a good place. It's always nice to win a battle when you're actually streaming it. That being said, I'm not streaming it live, so I could have probably just done another one. But done. Win and winner. So we have that. Prizes come in. You get a little bit more to build you up on the league. So therefore, I was sitting at around about 1575, which is sort of mid-silver. I think it's silver too. And I got 3.7 uh, dark energy crystals. They are also uh, increased by the fact um, your win rate, the amount of gold cards you play, uh, alpha cards, beta cards, so older type cards, and if you're into a guild. So um, there's more calculations on how you can get more dark en energy crystals. So that's the sort of the battle and what it looks like. Um, as I said, for the event, you get to play around about 14 or 15 of those. They are not associated with your leagues. Um, your leagues are a separate separate one and the rules to your leagues are in here so you'll start it you'll come in you'll start at nervous novice is fairly simple getting to bronze bronze can be a little bit tricky and it allows you to sort of um, you need to play around with a, uh, a bit i would recommend you coming in and picking a couple of elements that you like and then focusing on getting cards around that now there's no requirements to certainly spend money as i said from the rewards that you get um, the cards, yes, some cards are cheap. If I go to the um, the buy market, you know, you're looking at nearly three cents, three cents, but they're you know obviously bottom tier cards. But you can rent. So if there is a card that you like, um, you know, you can always. It's a bad example, but you can rent the cards. Um, you know, this car, card is $1.89 to buy, um, or the card is one-tenth of a cent to rent per day. So I rent a lot of my cards, where, and if I'm using that card a lot, then I may consider buying it, if it's a card that I, I find that I've sort of rented and I've used sort of in most battles. Um, so, you know, there's ways to do it. You know, if you're only starting out in the game and you don't mind sort of spending, you know, one cent to rent this card for 10 days, 
then you can certainly have a look at that as well. So have a look. Now I've probably butchered what is Splinterlands, <laughs> um, but definitely like it. So card collection, auto battler, uh, these are the cards you do get when you first start. You will get a, um, I think it's around about eight to 10 starter cards for each element and that allows you to play and sort of go well I like the fire element or I like the magic earth element or I like the water element um, and that gives you a, a sort of a play style of the types of cards that you like uh, from then then you can sort of focus and get a few as I said um, jump in join the um, uh, the program via the link below jump into the discord if there's an element that you like and you can sort of see is I will send you over uh, a few cards and that will help you just get the edge to make your way into the bronze as well. I can give you sort of about a thousand collection power um, and just help you to get you started uh, when you go through. So thank you very much. I hope you liked it. I will definitely be doing more uh, splinter and uh, videos but what I will say is there are so many good YouTubers out there that have done detail. So if you're liking the fires or something like that, just type Splinterlands Fire Builds and you'll definitely have uh, Bulldog or Dwayne Cunningham or Luke Plays to Wins. They're probably the three people that I watch a lot that will give a very detailed explanation on each of those splinters um, or those elements and some of the pros and cons of the cards that are in there. Um, and I certainly couldn't do them justice. These people have been playing for two to three months um, and have, have, have just really done some good basic videos to help me to sort of go, yep, I like that card, I'll buy that card or I'll rent that card. And it's given me the edge in a battle where that card has maybe sort of turned the tides just to sort of win. And that card itself may be a two cent card or a three cent card. So it's not like they're telling you to go and spend hundreds of dollars. Um, in the little league battles that we're fighting it, you can easily take it by just understanding some elements not only by the cards but where you position those cards um, to sort of help you as well what you put out as a tank what you put in the midfield and protect what you put in the back door to just sort of protect anyone's from maybe sneaking in through the back and sort of chipping away at your healers um, so they're really good so thank you very much i hope you liked it um, Leave your comments below, jump into the Discord, ask any questions freely in there, and certainly myself or anyone else will certainly give you a hand. So thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you in the Discord. Looking forward to uh, having a rumble with you in the uh, the arena. And uh, have a good one. All right. All right.